What's up, YouTubers? It's Petro here, back here with another video for you guys. And today, we will be talking about the game that's been long, long overdue. And you guys can tell by the trailer right here, I am talking about, yes, Dead Island 2. Man, this game has truly been in development hell. Like, what the f <laughs> What happened to this game, yo? What truly happened to this game, all right? Dude, we gotta talk about it, all right? And don't get me wrong, this game is coming out this year. So in fact, it's coming out April the 28th, uh, 2023. So it's not that far from now. But we gotta talk about a little bit how we got to this point and how the fact that you guys may or may not know this already that the current developers of this game are like what the third fourth developers that worked on this game you know the original developers that made the first day on game was Techlin. they couldn't do this project because dying light 2 which came out last year now that game right there was well it was a fun story mode i'm not gonna hate on the game i bought the game and it was a fun story mode and it was interesting, but what I really got the game for was to play with a friend online, and the online mode was, was really buggy and didn't work. But that's not the topic for this video. Back to Dead Island 2. Alright, Techland, they're doing their Dying Light. They're working on it. They're doing their own thing. So they give the reins over to Jaeger developers. Alright. Jaeger developers made Spec Ops the line. I never played that game. I never heard of that game. I'm not going to pretend with you guys like I've heard of that game. But just know they didn't hold on to being a developer of this game because, as you know, Jaeger development was the one responsible for this E3 trailer and also the gameplay trailer that came out in 2015. Man, that was so long ago, man. You guys really believe it, though, that this g game was originally announced in 2014? I was literally 14 when this game was announced. That's absolutely insane to think about. And the gameplay trailer, I was 15 when that came out. That's crazy. <laughs> absolutely crazy. I'm just really thinking about that right now. It's been over a decade almost, people, since this game was announced, and we're just now close to the release date. And but like I said before, Jaeger Development was talking about you know the game, and they were showing the game off, and then D Silver then decided to hand the game over to a whole another developer. I don't sure what was the reason for them to not want to go with Jaeger, maybe because for what I do remember of when this trailer came out, a lot of people wasn't very happy at how the gameplay trailer looked. This is how the gameplay looked back in 2015. D Silver, the publisher of Dead Island 2, may not have liked how the development of this game was going, and then Jaeger Development was no longer the head developer of this game, and basically got replaced with Sumo Digital. Now. Some of you probably do know about Sumo Digital. Sumo Digital also developed games like Team Sonic back in 2019. They also did the little Sackboy Racing game. And last but not least, they also developed Crackdown 3. Now, you take that information and do what you want with that. Because uh, I'm just going to throw my little side of salt on that. And, and say, hearing that is not reassuring me whatsoever. Thankfully, Sumo Digital didn't stay as a developer either. You probably thinking, what the fuck is going on right now? Yes, I thought the same thing when I saw this. How many developers, uh, development teams, they're going to go through with this game? And that makes sense why this game has been delayed for so long. Now, this game was announced in 2014. Now, that's when I saw the E3 trailer. And I feel like that's when it first announced. Now, I'm not sure if they did any like social media announcements before that. Cause I, God, I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. <laughs> this game will be old as shit at this point. But back to the topic. Seriously though, this game has been like through a lot. It's been through a lot. And I'm very glad to see that this game is here and it's coming out soon. Oh, but I didn't tell you guys that who the current development team is of Dead Island 2. And that current development team is Damn Buster Studios, people. And this studio had worked on a game called Homefront The Revolution, which was a first person open world shooter game back in 2016. This game came out, I never played it. Honestly, I can tell you whether or not this game did well or not. For what I understand, and for what I saw the reviews, some people enjoyed it. It said it had a couple flaws to it. It had a 6 out of 10 on Steam and a 5 out of 10 by IGN. But you can just ignore the IGN one because let's be honest, IGN. Do I need to say any more about that? But seriously though, this game is definitely been through a lot and I'm happy to see that Dead Island 2 is still coming along well and it's also having a co-op people. Yes, it's in the co-op as well. It's gonna be three people max. 
And they're also showing new Slayers, and uh, they actually got their own trailer, now I think about it. Uh, put those links down in the description. They got trailers showing new Slayers. So far, they got like four, like I want to say four or five. That's probably wrong, but I want to say like four or five they've shown so far. Including the dude you're seeing right now in the trailer, Jacob. Which is also is really dope, by the way, because he's definitely somebody I would love to play with. But overall, though, it's crazy how far this game has came from back in 2014 to being at E3. And note that this is during the time that PlayStation was still showing up to E3. Look how long he's been now since PlayStation he even bothers to even mention they was at E3. They don't care about E3 no more. they doing their own thing. No state of plays. That's how they get the news out there to the players and fans out there. People are not even, like, you know, studying E3 no more. E3 right now is just a name. It's really sad to see where E3 is right now, but you know. And Dead Island 2's gameplay trailer looks amazing. Have you guys not seen the weapons and different abilities you can do? I wouldn't just say like abilities. It's more like just the amount of weapons you can choose from. There's a lot of weapons. If you guys have not seen a gameplay trailer, then it's definitely in this video. You guys probably end up running into it sooner or later. Actually, this is the current Dead Island 2 gameplay trailer you're currently looking at, and it shows a lot of different weapons it's showing the world. Uh, they call this place Hollywood. I think that's what's the name of this city that they're calling it. Now, also, I didn't address earlier about why the co-op is only three players, because I also came aware that in the first Dead Island game, it was four players. The reason for that being, if I had to be honest, is probably due to the fact that four players probably made Dead Island 2 too easy. I feel like that the city is going to be big, like Hollywood might be a really big city, but it might be not big enough for four players. Like, it's not like you can't hold four players, it's more of a probably you've got four players in there, the missions come easy, too easy, way too easy, it might not seem like a challenge to players anymore. Keeping it three definitely keeps it down, you know, to a good, it's an odd number, but it keeps the numbers low, you know, so like, it don't feel like it's too hard or it don't feel like it's too easy. Well, of course, most of us prefer a challenge, I would hope. I don't know, maybe if you're just a super casual gamer, you probably do prefer on normal, but there's nothing wrong with that. We all got to start somewhere. And also, with Dead Island 2, you can see how the characters look and you can see how everybody just dress and <laughs> how they all just very well stand out. That was no pun intended in that scene in that moment, but it just had to be popped up at that time. Now, as for Dead Island 2's future and how they plan to announce more information, of course, like I said before earlier in the video, they got their own YouTube channel as well, Dead Island, where they definitely showing more trailers of the characters. Uh, these are individual trailers uh, they have, they show the Slayer's uh, skills and what they can do and how they use those skills and what sort of other skills and weapons they can use. As you can see, it's a variety of weapons and how you kill zombies in this game. It actually looks like a really fun zombie game. I'll say that this game definitely has the potential to be possibly the best zombie game of the year. I don't know any other zombie games that's coming out, not for what I know of at the moment. There may be, so if I'm wrong, I do apologize. Uh, you guys tell me down in the comment section that there is another zombie game coming out, but for what I'm aware of right now, there's no complete other zombie game coming out, so this game might go down as the best zombie game of the year. And plus, considering how long this game has been in development. Now, also, I didn't mention earlier, I know I'm forgetting quite a couple of things to mention to you guys, but still, that this game was redone from the ground up. This game was originally on Unreal Engine 4. It's on Unreal Engine 5 now. So this game was done from the ground up. Like after the whole Jaeger development and Sumo Digital. Yeah, they basically just went and did its whole game over from the ground up. So that's why it looks so different. Completely different from the 2014 E3 trailer or even the 2015 gameplay trailer. You know, they had plenty of time to work on this game. And, and with a whole new gen console. PlayStation 5 now, I mean, when they first announced this game, it was in 2014. Note that the PlayStation 4 had came out that year in 2014, so that's crazy to think about, huh? Oh, Dead Island 2 does really well. I know how this game ends up being the best zombie game of the year, if not possibly for the next decade, you know, maybe be an inspiration for future zombie games. But with that being said, folks, like you like the video, just like this like the video. Tell me what you think in our conversation below about Dead Island 2 and how long have you been waiting for this game? Me personally, I just forgotten about this game and I just have to come back to it. See ya.